everyone, I'm Shannon Moores. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have an unboxing for you of some mysterious package that I got from Google. Now I do know one item that is in this box for sure and that is going to be the Google Pixel 3. I don't know what version they sent me but I know that there is a phone in this box. But as you can see this box is very large and it's heavy. It's like 10 pounds, maybe 15 pounds if I'm not mistaken. It weighs about the same as my cat and she's fat and she weighs about 15 pounds. So the backstory on this is I basically tweeted and I was just like, hey Google, what gives? Why don't you send me product reviews? And then they emailed my show, Tech Thing, and they were like, hey, join Team Pixel. And I was like, yes, I absolutely will. So this is a hashtag gift from Google. I think that's the right hashtag. Let me check. Okay, yes, it's hashtag gift from Google. I said the right hashtag. Yay, go me. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this because I am very curious about what else they sent in here. What could it be? All right, friends, I have my handy dandy Kershaw blade. Be very careful with these whenever you use them to open boxes. I don't know, sometimes mysterious boxes being sent to you is like not the best thing ever, but I feel like this one will be okay. Okay, whoa, cool. So right out of the box, we have a big old box inside of a box and it's a G for Google and it says hashtag team pixel at the bottom, which is the hashtag that anybody who is an influencer for the pixels has to use whenever they post. I think at one point I found that hashtag team pixel and I just started putting it on my photos on Instagram. Okay, let's take this out. Okay, so yeah, it's just a big white box with Team Pixel on the front of it. What is inside? Ooh, there's things. <gasps> did they? <gasps> they did! Yay! So in the email that I sent them, I was like, P.S. My favorite color is pink. And they sent me a Pixel 3 XL and it's in pink! Yay! Or should I say not pink? So it's so cute. I'm so happy that they sent this one to me specifically. So it's 64 gigs, which means I'm definitely gonna have to take advantage of the free photo uploads that you get with the Pixel phones. Uh, and I use Google Fi, so this will be really easy to transfer from my older Pixel 2 XL. So I'm really excited to take this out of the box. Let's see what else they sent though. Okay, so we have a little card. It says, exciting news, Google Pixel 3 is here. It's designed to make every day more extraordinary. Since you are part of our Team Pixel family, we wanted you to be among the first to get our exclusive kit featuring our stylish and radically helpful new phone, the Pixel 3 in a new custom shade, not pink. Your very own not pink kit includes my case, designed just for Pixel 3, the Pixel Stand, ooh, yay, our fast wireless charger paired with the power of Google Assistant. Be sure to tag us, Google Pixel, Team Pixel, and Pixel 3, and share your latest adventures. We would love to see what you are up to. Happy exploring, and thanks for your friends at Google. Yay! Okay, so as I mentioned, Google Pixel Stand. If you watch their announcement, that's what it looks like, so I'm really excited to use this and test it out. That's gonna be very, very handy, so I'm really stoked about that. The case that they were talking about, oh, this looks like it. So this is cute. It's not a phone case like I thought. It's actually a wallet, so this is for all your business cards. Ooh, this would be very handy for business cards, especially at CES. So I'm gonna definitely use that. Thank you, Google. Where's the case? Ah, here we go. Okay, so we have a Google My Case. It looks like it's, Oh, that's cute. So this has some cute little art on it to go with your Google Pixel XL. Heather Day, Google Pixel 3 My Case. It's got some interesting art on it. I usually go for a simple aesthetic, uh, like the marble tones, or I go for like a Sailor Moon print, but there aren't any Sailor Moon Pixel cases. So this one will be very useful for the time being because I don't wanna drop my Pixel phone, so yay. There's other stuff in here too. Okay, so there's a Meet Pixel 3 uh, user guide for Team Pixel, and it talks about how to use your phone, which I can skip. It also says where you can post pictures if you're on their Team Pixel influencer list. Oh, these are awesome. Ooh, yay. These are really nice glass water bottles. Um, I had one, but I gave it to a little girl that I know, <laughs> one of my friend's daughters. So this will be really handy because I've been wanting to get a new one. So yay, thank you. These are called BKR glasses, um, BKR water bottles. They come with this nice rubber cover so that they don't slip and fall and break or anything like that. But if you do drop it, it has that nice cover on it so it protects it. Oh, that's adorable. So last but not least, we have a fanny pack. 
<laughs> That's so cute. It says Team Pixel on it. And it's a nice little fanny pack, actually. You know these are in style right now? Yeah, fanny packs are back. They're also very handy for theme parks. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and open these? So this is the Google Pixel Stand, and big thanks to Ayaz, one of my really good friends, for showing me how to not open this case. So to slide it open, ta-da, and you can display your Google Pixel Stand like so. Uh, this is the Google Pixel Stand. It's very thin, it's very, very white, and there's not much else to it. It has a little notched piece here so that you can stand your phone without having it fall or anything, and they have... Little pieces of plastic on it. I love, love taking these things off. I don't know why, I'm weird. Oh, yes. It's just so satisfying to take those off. It's so cool. So this is a really nice soft touch rubber and apparently all the technology is built into this, I believe. And there is a USB-C port on the back of it and you simply just plug it into your AC port or your wall port and then you stick your phone on top of it. I'll just use my Pixel 2 XL like so. And then it's able to charge wirelessly, so that is really cool. And it has Assistant built in, so I'm going to be doing a review on Tech Thing of how to use that, so that'll be pretty interesting. And let's go ahead and open the Google Pixel 3 XL. Ooh, look at the color! It's so pretty! Alright, so to take this out, we simply slide it out of place like so. It has a clear plastic cover over the entire thing, so I'm just going to pull that off. I'm definitely going to get a screen protector before I start using this phone because I'm prone to having it get scratched along my keys and stuff like that. Okay, so this is the Google Pixel 3 XL in not pink and it's very soft to the touch on the back. It feels really, really nice. There's a little G at the bottom for Google. The top is more of a shiny finish and you'll see the fingerprint sensor right in the middle right there. The lens on here looks very similar to the previous lens for the camera and the front of course has that notch and two cameras in place in the center as opposed to the old one which had the camera over on the side and you'll notice that I always keep it covered because I'm paranoid and I'm a weirdo like that. The power button on it is a very bright, it's almost like a tangerine color and the not pink volume sliders are on the side as well. It's got some curved glass to it on the sides and the SIM card slot is on the bottom. There's a USB-C slot too. And it looks like there's no headphone jack whatsoever, which is a bummer. I am a standout for headphone jacks. If you are in the security world, you understand why. Uh, looks like there's also a little SIM adapter so I can put in a SIM card. There's also, oh, that's nice. Thank you for that. So they sent headphones too, which is really great. I'm glad that they sent headphones too, given that I don't want to buy new ones for these. So these are USB-C headphones that they sent, which is very nice and very handy. So I really appreciate that they did that, especially because I don't want to buy new headphones. And I've been using my Bose ones, my QC20s for a long time, but I use those with an adapter. It'll be nice to have some that I don't have to use an adapter with, so I could put those in my purse. And we also have a charger here that's USB-C to USB-C. There is a USB 2.0 to USB-C adapter. And there is also a little miniature adapter for older headphones like my Bose QC20s with USB-C. Yay! And I think in here we have, here we go, the little wall wart. Cool. And this is USB-C as well. Cool, well that is everything from my mysterious package from Google. I'm very excited to join Team Pixel, especially because I've been using their products for like four, I don't know, since they had the Nexuses out. It's been a while, so this is the third year of Pixel phones, but I was also in I was a Nexus fangirl as well. So I'm really excited to check out the camera on this. I will be testing it against the Pixel 2. I'll be taking a lot of photos with this too. So if you want to check out my pictures, especially when I travel, Instagram.com slash snubs is where I like to post all of those photos along with my stories. It's super fun to post all of those over there. And if you're interested in seeing my thoughts on this, once I get to using it and comparing it to the Pixel 2 XL, then check out Tech Thing over at YouTube.com 
slash T-E-K thing. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like what I do here, and if you want to support what I do over here and get access to high res photos, check out my Patreon. All the links are down below. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and tell me what your favorite feature is of the phones from this year and what your favorite phone is of 2018 so far. Uh, I will be very excited to check this out and let you know what I think personally, especially since I've been a fangirl for, well, since the Nexus days. So it's been a little while. It's been, been quite some time. So I'm very excited to join Team Pixel and I'm excited to test this out with all of my photography skills that I've picked up throughout the years. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'm Shannon Morse. Bye!